Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty, and I am back today with a review for the Pie Chamomile and Rosehip Calming Day Cream. So if you wanna hear more about this, stick around and let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. All right, so let's do a quick review on what this is all about. Here we go. $60 and claims to be a soothing, lightweight facial cream. Good for all skin types, specifically hypersensitive skin, they say. It's formulated to soothe and maintain extremely sensitive skin. Keyword keeps popping up, sensitive. Suitable for vegans, cruelty-free, and also suitable for eczema-prone skin. It is overall supposed to help calm the appearance of reactive redness. So I'm gonna go through the scorecard and tell you all about it. First question, ingredients. Okay, so they were looking really solid until I got to the natural fragrance section. They have a couple of key offenders that I've seen before. I listed all in the ingredients section of the scorecard. You can check that out there. I reached out to the brand because oftentimes I find these big scores on EWG and I'm like, ah, I need to double check with the brand on the percentage of this ingredient in the actual product and how they're sourcing it and what they have to say about it potentially being harmful or irritating, especially since this product is being touted as something for very, very sensitive skin types. That's that. Moving on to the next question. What is the application like? Does it glide on smoothly? Is it greasy? This application is so good. It, the texture of this is like, it's rich, but for some reason when it applies, it soaks into my skin. It doesn't sit on top. Got a five out of five on the scorecard for so many reasons. I love how this applies. I love how lightweight it is and yet feels more moisturizing than some of the other lightweight moisturizers that I've fallen in love with, like the Jane Iredell Beauty Prep. I still love that as a product, but this feels like, oof, just, creamy and rich in a way that that doesn't. Different for probably different skin types and seasons, but this felt amazing. How is the scent here? Well, they say this is chamomile and rosehip and can really smell the chamomile. So if you are not a chamomile tea fan, this is not your jam. I love chamomile tea. Love, love. I used to it. And then all of a sudden I was like, I love this stuff. Very weird, but it happened. And I love the scent of this cream for that. It almost, with the olfactory senses, yes, I like to use big words. What? I don't know. When I smell that chamomile scent, it just automatically hits my nervous system and it goes, ah. Oh. It is calming already and I just love it. I don't get a lot of rosehip oil, although I don't feel like that's the same as rose oil. It's not gonna smell very heavy or floral, which is good for me, but now you know. Overall, it gets a four out of five on the scorecard. And I should mention that after you put it on, it doesn't stay there all day, but it stays for a while. It's not the kind that you put on and it totally dissipates. It will linger. Just FYI. Now, the next question is, is it a non-irritating formula? For me, this was better than fine. It was great. My skin did not look red or break out in any way, shape, or form. It responded incredibly well to this cream. However, I'm still waiting to hear back on those few iffy ingredients from the brand. So for now, it is a three out of five on the scorecard. Totally subject to change, by the way, but for now, that's where we're at. Okay, next up is my favorite question. Performance, does it do what it says it's gonna do? Hydration of the skin during the day, does it perform? Yes, yes, the skin felt very hydrated. I could put makeup on top of it and it didn't feel like it was sliding down my face so it wasn't a greasy level of hydration. I have combination skin. Did I put it on and see the redness disappear? No, that's not what they're saying it's gonna do but it's supposed to help improve reactive redness. For me, whenever I put it on, my skin's like, yes, more. In terms of calming the appearance of reactive redness, like I said, it didn't kind of automatically get rid of it. I've tried it for a couple of weeks now, so I didn't see a really dramatic change there, but in general, it did soothe and hydrate my skin. It just made my skin happy. It received a four out of five on the scorecard. Then is this a consciously created product? I do have another question out to the brand on packaging. This is glass, so that's fantastic, but the pump components in the cap need to hear a little bit more about. Is it made from post-consumer recycled material? Is it 100% recyclable at curbside? Do we have to take an added step and go somewhere else to drop it off? All the questions. It is vegan, it is cruelty-free. Now I just need to know a little bit more about the sustainability side of things for now. It is a three out of five on the scorecard.
And the last question is, would I repurchase this? Yes, yes, yeah, totally, yes. I love this stuff. It is more of an investment, but I really love it. And my skin really loves it. This is really just about soothing everyday rock solid daytime moisturizer, which is always what I'm looking for. Cause oftentimes I'll get into them and it's like very greasy or it's irritating to my skin or it just like slides down my face. It's not moisturizing enough. You know, I have a hard time finding just sort of the right mix for me. This was that I also happen to love chamomile and the texture of this really unlike most products that I've tried. I wish I could just squeeze a pump into your hands right now and you could be like, oh my God, it's me. Hopefully you can get some samples out there. I'm not sure who has samples, but I do receive them quite often from Pi. I would recommend reaching out to the brand if you want to try this, but you're worried about spending $60 on something you don't like. Very valid concern, by the way. I know they have some um, starter kits on there. If you want to try this specifically, I know those samples exist. So maybe they could send you a couple. Huge fan of this if you haven't figured it out yet. I'm just gonna stop gushing about this one now and um, get on with my day. And that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this product review. I will be right back here real soon. Until then, bye.